Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to this. We're over the halfway point now. We're in the third to last age and we're almost 60% of the way through. So, what are we doing right now? Well, we have a couple of priorities. Let's turn off all these extra things we don't need to see. We just hit corporations. And so our goal right now is to found the Centaurus Extractors, because we have a whale monopoly, and that will give plus one production in all cities with the Centaurus Extractors office, which is actually not bad for a science victory, because remember, at the end of the science victory, you have to produce a hell of a lot of uh, big, expensive spaceship parts. But it also gives us 10% uh, bonus science to cities, foreign cities, with the Centaurus Extractors franchise, so that is also going to be very good for us. So to that end, we're trying to stay at peace. We we conquered Babylon and Akkad, and I think, I think we're going to take a quick look at Babylon here and decide, do we want to unpuppet? Is it time to annex this city? And I think the answer is yes. Capitals are usually very good to have, um, and this one actually has some uh, great works in it, so we probably should have unpuppeted this one a little bit sooner in order to get a tourism bonus. So, let's do that now. The bank is one turn away. Let's do it right after the bank is finished. Um, hmm. The other thing is, we're at how many? Uh, 14 cities. I'm getting very concerned about how damn big Elizabeth is with 24 cities and 400, almost twice our population. That's pretty bad. Um, it's going to be hard to overcome that. And most of it is because, look, she's, she's built these, this giant colonial empire over here. The question is, how happy are her citizens? We can't really see until the... At least I don't think we can see. Until we get to ideologies. Maybe we can see in demographics. I think only if she's like the best in something, it <laughs> turns out. Or the worst in something. We are highest in approval. So I don't know. But she's highest in so many other categories. We actually have more production than her, despite the fact that she is... Uh, many more citizens working. So the question is, what kind of victory is Queen Elizabeth going for? Oh, it's you. Consul Elizabeth. I'm sorry. Why is she consul? Because of her government type? Did they? Did that? Is that something that does something? That's an interesting result. Maybe because of the industrial era. I don't know. Oh yeah, imperialism. Maybe that makes gives you consul. Where are we anyway? We're on rationalism. That's right, because we're going down for science. So the last thing that we're thinking about here is... Oh, I don't... I didn't mean to do that. The last thing that we're considering is we may drop another city somewhere out here, probably in this vicinity or this vicinity, if and when we can find... Or maybe over here. If and when we can find some resources that we need. Uh, we have uh, just buttload of coal. Just a ridiculous amount of coal. So we're good on that front. Oil is going to be the next one we really need to care about. So that's what we're beelining for right now. And then we're going straight for plastics. Aluminum is also on the way there. So that will give us all of the important strategic resources for the future. I mean, uranium is also arguably pretty important. But I think we can do without it if we need to. By the time we get there, the game is eh, close to over. All right. So we, we know we got tons of coal. We know we're trying to get the Centaurus Extractors. I think we queued it up at the beginning. Yeah, there it is. We get it in our capital. So, um... We get the trade routes marked, but we're not sending any out from Lisbon. That's probably a mistake. Oh, well. Oh, we finished the Eiffel Tower. That's good. Easier to get policies, which will help us speed up our science. Um, I've got a worker that has nothing to do been running into that problem more and more. It's like I've got empty tiles, but I kind of want to leave them to put, like, great scientists or something. And I don't have anything else to put there, really. One, two, three, there's nothing, nothing can even reach that tile. So it does not matter. Uh, something can reach this tile. One, two, three, yeah, I guess we'll put another farm there. Alright, so we got some more of the coal. Eiffel Tower gave us a whole bunch of free science. That's great. Pedro is plotting against Elizabeth. Oh, I went to go in here and see... England is 
producing a little bit of tourism. Not quite as much as me, probably because, well, we both have, I think, maxed out on the 75% reduction modifier, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we've maxed out. So any new cities don't really matter. Uh, for the tourism only. Still matters for culture and science. So here we are, second London conference. We definitely want to repeal the sanctions against Portugal because our whole corporation will cease to give us any benefit if we don't remove these sanctions. We got two from religious authority. That's good. I don't mind if his, re, historical landmarks pop up. That would be good for me, I think. At least a little bit good for me. Uh, but uh, I don't want Buddhism, but I don't think anybody else is going to get Buddhism. So let's commit the delegates to trying to... Re Wait a minute. Did I just say nay to that? I think I just nayed it because I didn't see it was repeal. Oh my god. I, I gotta restart it if I did that. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out if I was dumb. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Pedro's plotting against me. Oh, no, I did. I yayed it. Okay, good. We repealed it properly. I just thought at the last second I'd seen uh, something uh, flicker in there like it had said nay or something in red. Uh, but I guess I was mistaken. Okay. So, I am no longer sanctioned. So that means when these come up in the next 2, 7, 16, whatever turns, we'll be able to start sending them out and get those uh, offices built in other places. All right. The third London conference. So, um, we've also got culture from world wonders and science from great works. All of those things are basically good for us. Basically. They're probably... Maybe the great person improvements is probably better for somebody else. I mean, I think Global Peace Accords probably won't hurt. Especially because they all think I'm a warmonger. They'll probably like a peace proposal. Especially because that'll probably hurt Elizabeth more than anybody else. So I think I'm in favor of that. Mahera. Whales for wine. Yes, let's uh, continue this and get ourselves some happiness. More happiness is good for you and good for me. Korea did declare war on me not too long ago. Rome recently pulled itself out of its vassalage under England. They're trying to sanction me again. Well, let's, let's see if we can't buy his vote. He won't sell his vote to me. Oh, well then. You get nothing. Good day, sir. I'm a little concerned, because Wall Lumpur somehow flipped to Venice. And it's being attacked by someone. Who the hell's attacking it? Somebody that's at war with Venice? Alright, we're schmoozing in Rio, but that didn't help us at all. Because, uh... We don't actually have Braga, yeah. We don't actually have... They won't actually, you know, vote for us at all. Porto. Lisbon actually is not our biggest place where people are going to spy on us. Ah, Ragusa. Remember how great our glorious religion is. All right, you're going to Lisbon. Everything's going to come out of Lisbon just for this next little while, because that's going to be the first place we get our Centaurus Extractor's office. Nobody in the chat room yet. How's it going over there? I always wondered, like, is, uh... Salt for whales? An uneducated urchin would know he was being cheated. Is it because I'm further ahead? Maybe I give you truffles also? Eh, it's not great, but uh, I'm not really worried about Korea, so I don't mind giving them a little bit more than I get. Alright, so here's our first caravan. we got to pick the first most profitable route. Probably to a city-state? Yeah, Samarkand. Um, because I think you can establish franchises in city-states just as well. 113, 8 followers, almost maxed out. 
What if I do this one? Then this will be surrounded by even more pressure to change. England stole research. Well, that's why I put a counter spy there. He's obviously not doing his job. Hey, Streisel. Uh, I mean, the British scourge from the New World is pretty uh, dug in. So, no. And I don't think I'm going to be planning on doing that. Look at the British are going to town on Kuala Lumpur. Um, I would like to protect you. Or pledge to protect you. It gives them a little more combat strength, and I could gift a unit to make that happen, but what unit to give? Uh, maybe a cannon. And we'll just build a new one, or buy a new one. Oh, a field gun. Boom. So, I gave them obsolete technology. But it'll help them fight themselves off, and I'll get a little bit more influence, and if I give them one more unit after that, they will switch to me and then hopefully uh, no longer be at war. I want them in the game because they are a valuable trade route for me. Let's make this one very good against wounded units. Alright, now we have to choose between starting a golden age and getting bonuses during the golden age. Or, foreign spies are 25% less effective in all owned cities. That is pretty valuable, actually. And specialists consume one less food than normal. I think they normally consume two, right? They don't consume... Oh, actually, they consume six? Holy moly. That's a lot of food. That doesn't seem like as big of a deal anymore. But let's do it. The spies being less effective is also pretty damn good. Yeah, there you go. Wow, I can't believe how much food they consume. Why is it so high? In order to give them benefits, I guess? Farg this! Never gonna make that stupid event mistake again. I'll restart the game <laughs> before making that mistake. Specialists definitely aren't that fat in vanilla. And I wonder if it scales up as the game goes on. Ah, we gained a great engineer. We're going to need a couple of cities that are super good at production to make those spaceship parts. Vancouver is actually damn good. Holy moly, why are they so strong? Then Braga, Aveo... Porto's not even on the map anymore. I wonder why. You used to be king in town here, Porto. We're even giving you Slater Mill. Um, I guess we could put it here. Or we could hurry a wonder. Is there a wonder we care to get right now? I mean, we're about to get Centaurus Expectors. It feels like it would be a considerable uh, waste to use it on wonders that are almost done. Maybe instead of using it to uh, massively improve, I could uh, improve Coimbra, who's really far behind. They're like my second or third. They're definitely like my third city, but they're so far behind in production. So let's make nice things for them, huh? We could put it right here on this swamp. Meanwhile, every once in a while you want to comb your military and be like, wow, that stuff's from like 400 years ago. Should work on that. No longer friends with Ragusa. We are friends with Belgrade. Why aren't we friends with Ragusa anymore? Oh, because the damn Venetians took it again! You bastards. You absolute bastards. You and your merchants of Venice. I can't protect them from that. I just can't. I mean, it's right across the waterway. They were going to do that anyway. I slowed them down a little bit, though. Uh, Belgrade was very happy that I created the Great Engineer. That's why I got them as my friends, so I guess I swapped them out. Uh, now, Ragusa had what? Tea? Coffee. I don't think I have coffee anymore. Does Venice have Ooh, coffee to coffee trade? Order. They, of course not, though. They're keeping it for themselves, those bastards. Uh... Oh, all of this is about Ragusa. 
And Kiev is a new thing I've never heard of before. They want us connect their they want us to support their war effort by gifting units and it's in resistance. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Is that a city state that pulled away from somebody? Yeah, it's in rebellion from someone. I don't remember who. We saw that earlier. They've got Amber. Can we pledge to protect them? No? I wonder why. Probably because they're still in resistance from breaking away. Um, I do want to make them my friend, though. Oh, well, you know what? Belgrade chose to like me over you, so stuff it. We're going to see if we can give another unit to Kuala Lumpur. Maybe that <laughs> that cannon, since it seems like they're only fighting naval units. Brandenburg Gate. I don't think we need it. We gained Military Academy and Cavalry. Riders Fort gets production. Citadel gets plus two. Okay, hang on. Go back to Kuala Lumpur. Let's see. They still haven't received my unit, so I can't give them another one yet. Orders have changed. Researching technology is good stuff. So I guess we had a city that was particularly good. It was just our capital, wasn't it? It was particularly good at uh, pumping out diplomats. And the diplomats cost two paper. It's like, geez, I... I uh, I've got... I had two of these uh, civil servants. Or not civil servants. Great diplomats so far. Oh, why do you not emphasize science when I tell you to emphasize great people? Why can't you do both? Why don't we grow it? Look how mu how fast we can grow our capital if we just put our minds to it. There's so much good food here. Agribusiness will help even more. Baths. Baths. Temples. Amphitheaters. Gardens in the city get golden culture. And it gives us a little bit of culture itself. Why don't We don't even have a caravansary in our capital? That must have been some event. How could we have not built a caravansary? That doesn't seem right at all. And we don't have a garden. Like, all of this is wrong. Clearly wrong. You know where we have a factory? Well, the factories just came in. Alright, anyway. We've got plenty of happiness to grow our capital quite a bit. Alright, so next on the equation for this is... Hmm. London doesn't give enough as much money as I'd have hoped, but... It's probably because it's coming from Lisbon. It needs to be further away, maybe. I don't know. There's a field gun. There's a lancer. And we'll see if we can't give Kuala Lumpur. I think it takes three turns to get there. Ah, here we go. Flip Salvador with this great profit. Bingo. Now, theoretically, this... Yes, much less pressure from Catholicism. And more from us. We are strong. And you are weak. I was thinking that minus one food per specialist was... Uh, like a really considerable amount, like 50% reduction, but no, it's just 16% reduction. Population is growing exponentially thanks to your large upswing in births as of late. All cities get plus one population. Okay. Accuracy. Oh, we got another great general that we don't really have anything to do with. He's just going to chill in our capital for a while. You're going to have to come down and fix these farms that the event system decided was going to, you know, die right there. All right, Kuala Lumpur, have they received my unit? Yes. We can give them one more, and that will swing them to our side. So let's give them another cannon that we don't care about, because as I recall, none of them were high level. Um, we'll move this 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 guy over here for defense of Goa, and uh, we'll buy another field gun over here just to replace it. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's some some sheep there for us to get. Look at all this. Jesus, tons and tons of extra people. Our happiness went down a little bit as a result, but not by much. Not enough to matter. 
and birthing a citizen. Look how much freaking... Oh my god, we got so much stuff from that. That one event gave us everything. Aveo, here at Krakatoa. What could they need? You know, they're getting quite a lot of specialists, so let's give them a garden. They definitely don't need an herbalist. Ah, observatory, that's gotta be high up on the list. And a temple, because that's cheap and quick to make. I mean, listen, listen. I guess we could do the herbalist, because it will give us plus two food. That's all it would give us. Two food for one gold. I'm not certain that's really worth it, but... Grocer's definitely better. Okay. And Vancouver, our previous city-state. Uh, does it have any world wonders? I don't think it has any world wonders. So I'm not sure how a hotel could really help it. Great Works Tourism Modifier. Does it have any great works? It does not. I mean, it might one day. Reducing crime is something that we should uh, seek to, to produce in all of our cities. So we might as well. The only reason to keep my workers around is for those floods at this point. Soon we will learn about oil. Aha! There we go. We got a free office in the capital. Slater Mill was built in the same turn. Grants a free factory, a large boost to production. Also grants four free coal. We are like the coal capital. What was Slater Mills? Oh, just plus five production, huh? The free cap, the free factory is a pretty significant thing. Oh, hang on. Gold, culture, and happiness from every castle. City must be built within two tiles of a mountain that's inside your territory. That's a damn good thing to have. Maybe we should have that first. Like, I can't, I can't get any regular stuff done because I keep wanting these wonders that I get access to. <gasps> a Roman spy stole things. Ah, you need to go back to Lisbon. They love me in Lisbon. I'm the best. Does this finish a harbor yet? I feel like a harbor would be good for that. It doesn't look like it's got all the things it can get, but maybe it has. Uh, yeah, I guess it does. A seaport. Plus one production in gold from all ocean and coastal tiles. That's what I was expecting. That'll significantly improve them. How many? I have an office limit, right? Hmm. Plus one production for all sea tiles near this city. That's pretty damn good, too. Yeah, let's get one in this remote location. It will help its production pretty significantly. But I think we have a limit on how many offices we can have. We can have 14 offices. That's actually quite a lot. That's more more than we have cities, so every city gets one, I think. That's exactly how many cities we have, yeah. Ah, and we were going to annex this city, uh, which will increase our unhappiness for a time, but in the end it will decrease the unhappiness overall. Right now it's generating 11 unhappiness. We can probably cut that in half once we finish our... Uh, once we finish our courthouse, which we will invest in to make it go quick. They never finished a monument? Come on now! You never built a monument in 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 the capital. Never bought a monastery? That was probably on me. There's like a lot of really cheap buildings it could have built any anywhere along this train. The stable will make everything else build faster. Okay. Back to sleep. Oh, we got another one of these guys. I guess another voyage of discovery. We just don't need that many great admirals. We got tea. I wonder if we're going to hit the limit where there's like, you found every single luxury resource there is, even the ones that aren't on the map. Congratulations. And we have a ridiculously high supply cap as a result. 
Portugal does feel a little OP. That's plus nine. Pretty good. But this is going to be a good place to start. A zoo will also help, because, wow, okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. 16 from the population of resisting cities, so that's going to be a problem for a little while. Meanwhile, let's find out. Ah. We've got some city-states we can send stuff to. The Vatican. Where's the Vatican? Are they up here? Yeah. Um, I never could get my special special unit here. They're very angry with me. I'm gonna send it to the Vatican just because no, you know, that's that's a little bit of a waste. Let's 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 give it to Ravenna. Okay, that's a really long distance. That's why we get the best, best profit from that. Yee. Oh, I reset her to neutral. That was a dangerous game I just did by pressing that button. And she's right. My army's a little on the weak side. I need to find my... Uh, after, after, uh, well, you know, right now, actually. You're gonna give me coal? I am like the coal man here. I'm like the super coal man. I should give you coal. You don't actually have anything I want, so no. Brandenburg Gate is finished. Ooh, a great merchant, a great musician. Good, good, good. Now, what was that? Valletta? has conquered Kerbin and restored Brazil's sovereignty. We can't even see it, but Valletta, good job. A city-state doesn't usually get the limelight. Now, Streisel, they're min-maxing, but they're min-maxing what? Like gold? Gold only? Maybe. I don't know exactly how the logic goes with the puppeted cities. Uh, Funkal has local corruption. Yeah, I'll take the little happiness hit. Big deal. We've got more than enough to absorb it. Now, did we get Kuala Lumpur to like us? Yes, we did. They flipped to our side. They probably made peace with the English. But, as I had just mentioned, I'm a little concerned. Let's find the cities with the most, the least buildings. Okay. Arsenal is not necessary. These buildings are doing what they're doing. We're still growing. Four turns. Let's get to, uh, what's the population? 25? We'll get to 26 with Lisbon, and then we'll reset it back to not growth. But, in the meantime, we want an observatory and a military academy, and we still want to start putting some military units there. Cavalry. Oh, we're also short two, count them, two trade units because we got unlocked that corporation. So, what are the trade routes we could be doing, but don't yet have? So Babylon, wow, there's a lot of different cities. Akkad is a very popular one for a starting point. I wonder why. I guess we need to annex this too as soon as it finishes that observatory. Um, I mean, it seems like it's doing pretty balanced, but it must ignore all um, culture buildings. It must. Maybe it's random. Yeah, I don't know if the mod changes the priorities of the puppeted states. Yeah, get over it. You want to go to war over Kuala Lumpur liking me more than you because I defended them in the war they only got involved in because they were your ally and so the English were attacking them. Get the hell out of here, Venice. Oh, hi, uh, Pedro. I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. He's afraid, though. Probably because I was just ranting at him. Aha, this city flipped. Good, good, good. So, I think Nebuchadnezzar might actually vote for uh, for our religion, for for everything. And actually, look, we've got Assyria here who doesn't have a foot in the religion game. I could try flipping two or three of their cities um, and see if that convinces them that we're the best. I mean, our cities do give the god of the sea. Oh, god, this stupid event over and over again. One more until Babylon flips, and then I'll make a cod also join us. 
two more turns till we find out about oil. Our happiness is hitting a problem right now. And I think the next policy helps us out with that because all universities get plus one happiness. Great artist has been born in the city of Funkal. Oh! oh we lost. That's a great... Because uh, we got sh stuff. Okay. Everybody wanted Brazil wood last time. Korea stole research. Porto, I have that under the careful eye of Diogo. And apparently, he's not doing a very good job of it. That's all I'm saying. Global Peace Accords. Sanction me? How about no? How about no thanks? Hmm. Let's focus on those cheap ones here. Oh! We can buy a public school. Now a windmill... How long does it take to pay for itself? It's, I always feel like... I want to get it early. I don't know. Braga. Braga! Get a military academy and then build some military units. How about you do that? What kind of military units, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. I still forgot we need to build cargo ships and stuff. That is why I clicked on this button a while ago. Um, hmm. It looks like mostly cargo ships is what we want. So let's put a cargo ship there and we'll buy one. So we'll do cargo ship, military academy, lancer... Centaurus Extractor's Office, then Gatling Gun, then Fusilier. I gotta weave those into my economic strategy. Do -do -do. Um, you. What are you going to do about it? Ooh. I don't think putting a Porto here matters at all. Or, not a Porto, a Fitoria. Hmm. Oh, we've got coal here that's not currently being exploited. Let's make that happen. How many times is this stupid thing going to fire? I'll keep taking the blame until y'all stop. So Babylon went from minus 11 to minus 3 happiness. That's good. They do want some more of the good followers, so we can make that happen. That's as easy as buying an Inquisitor. Oh! Oh! So, we got a couple of things we need to remember to do. Okay. Buy an Inquisitor. Then, search out the oil situation. And cargo ship it up. Uh, what did we determine was the place to start? It has to be Lisbon, right? It has to be. Until we get more of those corporate offices. We want everything to go out of Lisbon. So that we can get those franchises built up. And all the good shit. All the good stuff. Okay. So what do we got for oil? Popping up the resource icons. We got one right near next to Goa. That's two. And in a cod. That's it? That's it for oil? Ooh. Well, I'm glad we took out the Babylonians there. Um... Gulp. Uh, oh, good. There's some right outside of Mari here. So that's six. That makes me feel a little better. We're not going to get to that one. What about over here? No. Ah, there it is. Yep, that settles it. We're going to go fight for this spot here. Um. Oh, except he built over here. Bastard. Well, it's still a good spot. Right on where that barbarian is. Um. Except that he took the... Mm. Eight iron. I wanted that precious. Still gonna take it. Uh, Cause what do we say that was two oil? Hmm, it's not the best place to get new oil, but there's none in the interior here where we would hope to find it. <sighs> there's no major deposits that I have found. Like an eight oil would be very interesting. And oh, we've got a seven oil right there. Just gonna, just gonna do that. There we go. No problem. Um, 
Now we know we've got to send a, a worker over there. The other thing we've got to do is go clear out this barbarian camp because we're going to get ourselves some biology. So we can get a person. Now, the problem is, do we go to war to take Eric from the Babylonians? I mean, it's like, I do, I do want that iron, but maybe I just stay at peace. Sometimes my greed can get the better of me. Okay, here we are back in Vancouver, which we need oil to build land ships. So we're just going to build some defensive forces. One, two, three, and you know what? A cruiser and a ironclad as well. Which of those will we use? Oh, a minefield is great, by the way. This is something they did to make, because coastal cities were very uh, vulnerable to the way the naval units scaled. So the minefield is pretty good. But I'm not worried about this city getting attacked navally. Actually, I am, because look, it's actually right near all these English cities. So let's put a minefield in there and a Centaurus Extractor's office. Um, and a hotel's not necessary there. Not yet, anyway. Oops, clicked the wrong one. So let's take a quick look. We are at 51 techs. We're six ahead of the English now. So that means nobody else knows where the oil is except me. Ooh, hang on. How much oil is that? Two oil. I might have to go and take that. Yep, I found a use for one of those great generals we didn't need. Uh, it's going to piss off our friend Pedro, but you know what, Pedro? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Um, okay. Korean stole rifling. Probably under Diogo's freaking nose again. What are you doing, Diogo? So this one out here. Kind of low on production, isn't it? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, okay. That's right. It's really good for ocean-based cities. That's what we care about. We need to make sure that we build that in all the good ocean cities. Arsenal is also something we want to build here because we just we need to make sure these cities are safe. This city doesn't really have that much defense, does it? It's way out there. It's got an ironclad and an musketman. Uh, that's not a lot of things to have. Um, city states. No good ones at the moment. Let's build those franchises in other places. Nineveh. As long as we don't go to war with the Assyrians, it'll be pretty good. Uh, are there any? Whoa, my gold is a problem. My gold is a big problem. Which cities have the most unhappiness due to poverty? Whoa, Porto's up there. And Luanda. Luanda? Where the hell's Luanda? Here. Wow, that's going to take a while, but we'll build it. Because I've been told that if you build it, they will come. Let's also go to Bogota. I want to spread my things, my, my franchises out amongst multiple civilizations. Because that way, if I'm at war with any one of them, it doesn't give me a major problem. I think Assyria is my good friend, though. I'm pretty sure that we'll be fine going to Nimrud. Going from four happiness to... Oh, it didn't do anything. Well, that sucks. Uh, I was going to send a worker here to deal with this. Hmm. Luanda does not have a lot of money. Whoa, Korea! I mean, I understand that my di recent diplomatic actions disappoint them, because I probably took their city-states, but our behavior infuriates them. They clearly see the potential threat posed by my warmongering, but that was so long ago. I haven't warmongered anybody in a long time. I took, I freed, I liberated Ragusa. You know, I don't trust you with these open borders, buddy. Because, oh, jeez, you need, uh... You really need... So what do I need? Cotton or Brazil wood? 
I think Brazil would, would give me the... Oh, that's glorious. Bonus happiness. Culture and gold from every castle. That scales well. Okay, so Brazil would three sugar, but that's not the option. It was Brazil wood and um, what was the other one? And cotton. So Brazil wood will make our people happy. So we'll give you whales, and then you can also give us archaeology. No, I guess that's what. Yeah, okay. Well, you'll like us a little more if we give you a good deal. Now. The hell? What is this, Goram? Mm. I send my stupid lancer out for two seconds. I can't believe nobody's taking care of that. It's up to me now. Is that what it's? Okay, fine. This caravan from the capital to Canterbury Shore. Is, is there no other way? I think there is. Let's establish something in the north there. Okay. So that's been repaired. Now what's this guy got to do? I guess he could go build some more stuff over here. You too. Like, just... Do this, do this, do this. Barbarians are raiding Mari. I noticed. It has come to my attention. Villanova de Gaia, one of my glorious cities that also has a lot of ocean tiles. They are going to be getting a Centaurus Extractor's office as well. And a bank for all the money they're rolling in. And definitely a garden. And definitely an observatory and an opera house. We'll, we'll go from there when we're done. I do need to average more than 37 military units to keep England off my back. I need to build more dudes. Rome is very happy about the whole peaceful proposal. Hello, Rommel. Open borders. No, you asked for that last time. I'm not going to fall for that trick again. You're going to take all my artifacts. Okay, so here we go. It's going to piss off the Brazilians. Yeah, it's a brazen act of theft, but, I mean, it's oil. You know you would have done the same, right? Come on. We're all friends here. There we go. We got our worker back now. couple places really love the king why did you she said why no factory oh I mean it, it's gonna get there eventually I just want to do these short ones first and a military academy and then a couple of military units just like you know a bunch of stuff archaeology Hello, Advocate. Oh, what is this? Really? I'm just gonna take Ragusa and free it again, you bastard. They know I'm competing with them and they hate it. T for cut. No open borders! Oh, my open borders for me? Yeah, that's acceptable. Totally. I mean, now you're going to force me to upgrade all my military units, which is, you know, good and bad. I'm not against it. Really, I'm not. It's just... I, I was hoping I wouldn't have to, like, bother with all this micromanagement. Okay. Uh, frigate upgraded to a cruiser. Now we've got a range of two, so it can fire off the coast here. And, um... Military units upgrading... Yeah, it's going to take a lot. I need a lot more money. My money situation is not as good as I'd like it to be. And they killed my damn trade routes, which we're going to finish and get my stupid franchises everywhere, you bastards! 
Cargo ship, cargo ship. <laughs> Putting that in there as well. That's... You know what? Yeah, we were doing all food, but now we're going to have to switch to all production for a little bit. Sorry, great people in the capital. Well, how much production do we lose if we go to more balanced system? Yeah, you can, we can afford that. We can afford that to get some more merchants and f money flowing in here. We apparently need it because, holy cow. I mean, holy cow. If we lose our happiness, we might start going into negative cash flow. And that, as they say, is a no good. The Lancer can be upgraded, but we need oil for a land ship. That's right. I forgot to build Vittorias over here for this thing. Okay. So, Funkal, you're finished? Yeah, we're going to need some military units from you there, buddy. That, that'd that be great. Thanks. Uh, we can't build land ships. Fusilier Gatling gun. Fusilier Gatling gun. Field gun. Now, I could also build a great artist and a great writer for free. Not quite yet. No, just a great artist. Um... And in session, Global Peace Accords, no sanction to Portugal, please, thank you. Let's split it that way. I really would like Global Peace Accords to kick these guys in the teeth with the whole aggression thing. We want to win a science victory over here. Public schools in all cities get plus 10% culture, or public schools get plus 10% gold. Damn! I don't know. I have a lot of bonuses to culture. A golden age would certainly help me right now. Gold from every specialist. Wow. 2% science in a city for every great work present. That means we need more great works. That means we need more culture. No, culture doesn't create great works per se. Uh, but anyway. I was just saying gold is what I need. I mean, I do... I did focus on a lot of... Even my... Religion has got culture stuff built into it, right? Yeah, I think we can do the gold thing. Boom! Look at that! 100 extra gold a turn. That was a big boost. I have a feeling England's going to try to use this as an opportunity to attack me. I really am feeling that right now. Ormus, solidly my friend. Samarkand, solidly my friend. They're going to need to upgrade their crap, though, if we go to war soon. Just like I'm going to need to upgrade all my crap. Babylon's not really in any danger. I think it's got at least... Yeah, it's 67 defense. You know I don't need coal, right? You gotta, you gotta stop. You gotta stop offering me shit. You know what? You're so far behind, Pedro. Six cities. You're like twice as far behind. Just give me, like, all of your gold income or something. Can you declare war on uh, somebody? No? They're not allowed to. Okay, whatever. I'm just fine. You can have whatever it was you were asking for. Just give me some more money. Those who cannot remember the past. See, now is a great time for me to build some archaeologists, but I'm spamming out units instead. Gee, thanks, Venice. You should burn your stupid thing to the ground. All right, caravan. Ormus. Go make us an office in Ormus. And we gotta, like... We got sanctioned? Really? Damn! Oh, I wasn't gonna stop that, was I? Eleven... Yeah. Okay! Apparently people are pissed at me for some reason, when really we need to sanction England, who's clearly winning. Way more aggressive than me. Let's repeal the Portuguese sanctions. Thank you. But, uh, Global Peace Accords passes. Boom! Which means I got kicked in the teeth for my gold income, but England must have just gone bankrupt. Whoa! She's at a thousand gold a turn? Oh, crap. How is she supporting that? I'm a bit concerned now. Alright, we've got this cruiser. I do want to pull the rest of my, like, ironclads and crap up here now. Because they have a navy. Let's bring only the most up-to-date naval forces, plus an admiral. Ah, eh, you know, we can bring out of our 
these are, these are only one age behind the times. It's the same age of everybody else, actually. Ugh, caravan. Go back to the capital. I got, I got nothing for you guys to do! That's... Ugh. The hell are these caravans gonna do? We discovered a couple of antiquity sites in our area. We could do that one, that one. This is the only two? Okay, then. So, 25% gold cost for unit maintenance. Shouldn't England be, like, drowning in debt right now? I guess not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yoink. All right, this cargo ship's going to Vatican City, I guess. I uh, didn't expect them to have to do that, but that's where we're doing. Mari's got to grab that antiquity site if we can. got a couple more things we can send up there, like, uh, hey, there's a fusilier that we had started building a little bit ago. Let's give it... Whoa, what is that? Ambush 1. Bonus against armored units. Yeah, we're gonna need that eventually. Why don't we take it now? Um, move it all the way up here. Meanwhile, I'll report back to my colleague who's chewing on the door. I don't know what you're going to do, buddy, but you're just going to have to sleep in there for a bit. Hey, we can upgrade this to a QRCR, but we still need to upgrade that. Yeah, we need gold. We need gold, and we're starving from gold. Ah! Those sanctions are really hurting us right now. <sighs> what is this? Melbourne? I don't think we're going to convince Melbourne to join us, and right now it's under attack. Apparently it recently got freed or released or something. Ugh. No, sir. I don't like it. Let's build a few more villages, I guess. This caravan's gonna be useless. Um. Let's find the place that I guess I could have, like, Funkal switch over. Something's gotta switch over to just producing, like, gold. Like, Porto. I love what you're doing there, buddy, but let's uh, back off on the military units. We don't need those as much as we need gold. So let's just focus on that observatory and then focus on wealth. It's not a great solution, but I'm going to pump some hammers over to you. Oh, I didn't even need to get that close to him, I forgot. Oops, 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 oops. Nope, forgot to bring him up. Probably would have won that fight a little more. Uh, and now we can... Ooh, we're like behind enemy lines. Good job, Zeppelin. Destroy their trade route. That's what you get. I'm taking my gold. Oh, there's another one right there. I can take that one too. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, I can. Get it. He was really just up here exploring. And it turns out, we killing a bunch of their crap. And it gave us, I think, another great person. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Uh, let's just hit Discover Technology. I'm running out of places to put these. Uh, I guess I could put it here in Lyra. I've already got two there, but we'll put one more. Hmm.
I actually could have attacked with that cruiser. I forgot it's range 2 now. C'est la vie. Let's build a few more markets or villages. Uh, Fatoria gives gold too, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll do that. Ah, gold? Gold from every specialist. Yes. Uh, what's the other one? Happiness? Happiness isn't going to help us as much. I mean, a golden age starts, though. Two science and culture from villages and halves religious unrest. Mm. That makes villages more enticing. And the golden age would definitely give me so much gold. Way more than this one. Let's take the golden age for free. Bing. All right, so we caught a break for 12 turns. And that's about when we'll get the other one unlocked. That's pretty good. And 13 turns, we can we can get the sanctions fixed. To that end, let me... Porto Braga. Braga's not really important anymore. So let's send them to Assyria and see if we can secure Assyria's vote to join us in getting rid of these damned sanctions. Oh! We got some more oil way over here. Two oil. Okay. Oil comes in twos, apparently. Goa. Goa, 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 you're alone. You're scared. I understand. Build a factory. Centaurus Extractor's Office, actually. That's even better, because what is it? That's uh, plus one production on all Monopoly resources. That's not going to be here, but plus one production on all sea tiles. Every sea tile here, plus one. That's a big boost. And three bonus production for every Centaurus Extractor's franchise. So that will make Goa a very productive place. Yeah, uh, how about we build... Oh, we can build one here that nothing could then actually farm. Two, three, that's, that's, oh, it's connects to Porto. That will actually be more valuable, and Porto can then get a little bit of gold. Um, hmm. Man, that was a, that was a great one-two punch overall. The sanctions plus this stupid war. I still don't know what to do with this damn guy. I guess you're going to build another village. Build it here. We know that the villages are about to get much better. Oh god. So many of these guys are dying. I guess we'll upgrade this guy. I mean, they all have to get upgraded eventually. Farg. Coimbra? Coimbra's so close to another population point. You're going to make me kill the stupid fields. All right, we've cornered his stupid frigate here, so that's good. Boom. That's a Corvette. Can we get this frigate in there and then back out again? Nope. That means this guy can't attack him. But he can keep him blocked in. Ooh. You can mess that guy up if you can ever get to him. can only hope. Oh, here's the the great merchant we were sending over here to help increase the funds of Luanda. Ha! <laughs> Caesar got to the Renaissance era. <laughs> Good job, Caesar. Way to go. I think the research lab might be one of the ones that we can gain with faith. Let's take a quick look. Yes! So we want to save up all our faith and just buy research labs all over the place when we, when we get plastics here. Uh, I guess you're just going to hang out down here and be ready to fight. Here's a cavalry. <laughs> we just popped him. 
Just popped him one. All right, so now this cruiser can help us out. Boom. Have these guys heal up. They're getting some much needed experience at least. Uh, you need to actually come back here and heal. I don't know what that guy's going to do. Oh, crap. There's a damn barbarian corvette raving around over here. That's not great. I guess I gotta send this guy after him, don't I? Korea lost its capital to who? Sejong. To the Venetians? Where's Sejong? Bogota. Asir. I don't know where this stupid capital was. Somebody's probably got it. I've got one capital. I feel like it must have been up here. That's where they're... No, it must be over here. Oh, there it is. Seoul. Duh. Brazil took it. Huh. What about, like, warmongering penalties? Go after these guys! Are you freaking kidding me? 300 food is so much food. Ah, oil derrick. There we go. We're connecting the first oil. We'll be able to build land ships soon. Most of our other oil is not on land. It's in the water, which means we can't get it until we can get oil derricks. I'm not even sure if there are any other exceptions besides the one I've been building right now. <sighs> I mean, I guess help a cod with production. It's puppeted, and we were going to unpuppet it, but I am going to wait until I'm more stable to do that. Ooh, this Fusilier could get a 50% bonus versus cities. That's pretty good. Let's just take the Drill 3. Makes him more likely to survive in all circumstances. Boom. And hey, look, this Corvette is uh, probably going to first find out. Hmm. There we go. Popped. Like that. We're going to try to free Ragusa again. It'll at least give us another trading partner for a short while until they manage to produce another great merchant. Ooh. Um. Yeah, let's make one of these guys good at healing. <clears throat> I would like to upgrade these units to another cruiser. It would make taking Ragusa super easy. Actually, it's already super easy, because it doesn't even have... Does it have walls, even? <laughs> ah, it belongs in a museum! What would Liera build? I think a museum. No, we gotta get a factory, right? Everything should have a factory first. Alright, heal up. Cruiser's actually in a good position to do some damage there. Here's our our city-crushing ironclad. That is going to take it all by itself? You gotta be kidding me. That's crazy. A cargo ship from here. Kuala Lumpur it is, I guess. Although Goa doesn't have what we wanted. Oh, it's going to be built in four turns. So this will get us in a Centaurus Extractor's uh, situation set up. Aha! Ton of gold for Luanda. Our lands are being burned. 
All right, biology is almost done here, which means we need to go deal with this problem too, but I don't have land units over there except for this one lancer. Oh, I could send over the field gun, actually. Oh, 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 found it. Hey, you, die. All right, we're going to send the lancer over, and it's just going to... It's just going to land here. Meanwhile, the field gun will land here. Probably. Hopefully. All right. So let's go see if we can't find our way. Where's the cruiser? Oh, I sent the cruiser up. Okay, here's the other ironclad. Stay. I can't go into his territory because we don't have open borders. We don't even have an embassy? Oh, I'm sanctioned by the World Congress. I can't make any deals with them. Jesus. But wait a minute, if I'm sanctioned, can't I at least make diplomacy type things? I guess we'll find out when we find out if I'm allowed to trade for Assyrian votes. I'm guessing the answer's gonna be no, though. But then it's like, how the hell am I gonna do anything? This Corvette's just gonna heal up here. We've already got Ragusa flipping. There's no way they can stop this naval assault. Oh, they jump up to 23. That'll be a little bit better. It'll take a turn or two instead of one single shot. Ooh, Samarkand got our awesome, awesome thing. Let's give them... Oh, a bank. Bank, definitely. Yes, bank it up. It's not too late. Just bank it. Bank it. Good. A minefield in Luanda. It is very vulnerable here. And then a factory. Hospital. Ooh, ooh. 5% of the city's food is converted to science every turn. Oh, hospitals are great. Hospitals are real great. For science. Because 5% of the food could be 5. <laughs> 5 science. Babylon, 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 Temple, train station, also, definitely, and a workshop. Let's do those in the correct order, shall we? Temple first. Train station last, but with money. Probably didn't want to spend that there now that I think about it, but... Oh, well. Akkad, we're going to annex you. We're just, we got to get this under control here. Okay, so, the stable's got to be in there. Water mill's got to be even before that, but before all that is a courthouse... And before that, it's going to be paid for. Electricity is going to show us aluminum. We know we want to get the uh, one other bit of oil here. You know what? We don't have to take out Eric. We can use our great um, generals to take the stuff we want from them without declaring war. And we have so many of them that it's all good. Right? It's all good. Now wait, what is this? Coal refinery. Empire State Building. Ooh, a free stock exchange and a free great person of your choice. And writer, artist, musician, scientist. All specialists in all cities get plus one gold. Yeah, baby! That probably didn't come out right. Oh, oh, here we go. It's just, it's, it's game over, man. It's game over. Liberate the city. Ragusa is our friend again. I will pledge to protect them and send them a unit. What kind of unit, you ask? I'm glad you asked. This is like the city that produces units just to be given away. And now our navy can protect Ragusa at least as long as the war lasts.
All right, they finished their Fatoria. We can put another one here. But I can't buy anything there. That's disappointing. So that's going to take a little bit for Mario to properly expand unless I also annex it. Is it really ready? It's got a library, an observatory, and a public school. Yeah, I guess it's time. It's time you learned who your father was. Not really. Um, great person, made a quest, made happy. Ragusa's religious, because they're my friends. Aveo. They're also out here in the middle of nowhere, with the minefield would be helpful. That's expensive, though, isn't it? It's minus eight. Whew. But you know, I don't want to be caught off guard on those cities that are so exposed way out there. It's going to take many turns for them to get to where they need to be as far as fighting is concerned. So now we can see if Venice is in a peaceful mood. Ah, a cruiser over here. Uh, that's a good place for it. If England ever does come for us, I want an extra naval unit here. And, you know, an extra naval admiral, too. Well, that uh, annoying thing by... Who was it that said that our... Oh, England gave us the warning that our, that our army's too small, so we built more army. Can, thank you very much for that helpful... Thing. Okay, how about peace? Oh, no. We only took one of your cities. Why would we... Okay, boom! Crunched. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. I don't know what this Corvette's gonna do. I think I want it back down here, just in case it's needed in another area. Uh-oh. Babylonian pioneers. They're not going where I think they're going, are they? We need that colonist. We need it built ASAP. You better not be going over here. You can go anywhere else, basically. I don't care. But I want that oil. I need that oil. And herbalist and Coimbra's done. Hmm. Ah, seaport for them, for defense, and then museum to, you know, do other things. And a factory before all that. I'm going to hold off on Centaurus extractors for them. They're not going to be able to use it quite as much as anybody else. Well, you know what? They have the sea. They have the sea, and that's, that's good enough for me. Ah, there's Bucharest. Hi, Bucharest. How you doing? I think you need to be relieved of your Ragusan territory here. <sighs> I'm really getting tired of those events. Oh well, nothing can be done about it. Oh, yeah, we're not going to allow that to come between us, Assyria. Well, that's pretty clear, England. Well, they're only getting 594 per turn now. That's still so much money, though. If we could sanction England, that would go a long way, but I have to repeal my own sanctions first. And then I can try to pay people off into doing that. Ah, oh, what did you get? Plus one movement? Hey, that's not bad. Let's actually take Medic again. I plan on actually using those explorers for, you know, warfare-type purposes eventually. 
Coimbra had the same farms pillaged? Is that what just happened? Bucharest is getting attacked. We could get in there and free it with our uh, ironclads here. Let's bring our frigate up, too. Uh, how much do we need to build that up? 920? We're not going to get that for a while. Let's just take the frigate as it stands. Ah, Chandragupta Maryuyaya. <gasps> no, you're exactly where I was going to build a city. You better not found there. Oh, I'll be so angry. I mean, I'll be just... I'll... Mm, 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 I wanted that oil. I couldn't get there soon enough. I'm going to have to go to war for it. They're going to do it, aren't they? Come on, move. Move, you bastards. You did it. You're messing with the wrong man. Oh, you know, maybe I should have told him. I wonder if that would work. Mean him deadish. Let's. I, I'm curious if it'll work. Let's try going back one turn here. Three, uh, one, auto saves. That actually might not take us back a turn. I'm interested, if I tell them don't settle near us, will it prevent them from doing that? I mean, if they say yes. I think it would if they say yes. Oh no, it wasn't Brazil that took out the Romans. It was the English. Now, was this the beginning of this turn? No, it was the same damn turn I was just on. Okay. So go back to a couple turns before. Because I really want to see what happens if I make them promise not to settle near me. Maybe that'll save it. Maybe. If you recall, I was trying to do that earlier. I was trying to get that set up. But my Lancer had to come back and deal with the problems around Maori. Mori? No, we're at the part where we haven't even beat it yet. Liberated the city. You just kind of chill out there, chill out there. that courthouse being built right now like we had planned this guy's coming up to Lisbon to help with I don't know one of the wonders I was thinking about getting right Babylon grab some iron good job Babylon let's get some happiness here we're gonna have that problem for a little bit and hope that this works. Mean him dead Is he afraid of me enough for this to work? Oh, you are sovereign. So it wasn't going to work. Well, in that case, I hope you know this means war. 
I'm not going to like it. Everybody else isn't going to like it. But it's still going to happen. You're not going to get out of it that easy, buddy. You're just not. And hey, look. Here's the guy that's going to help do it. And so is this guy. Maybe this Corvette could go down there, too. I don't know that I'll need it up there. Yeah. Let's send him over here. Because we want to hit that quickly. Before it can... Uh, really build up any walls or anything. Bucharest. We're here and we're helping. Yeah, I understand you want my stuff, but it's not your stuff. It's my stuff. We barely even touch borders. I mean, we do along this whole ocean here, but it's ocean. Nobody cares about ocean. Oh, they're the English. Oh, that was the wrong tack. <clears throat> yeah, I know that now. I know it was the wrong tack. Oh, yeah, I'll guarantee Ragusa again. That'll give them a slightly stronger uh, military presence. Um, I don't want to give them the unit now, because I just realized I got these other fights I got to make, so it's probably not the best play. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted you automatically exploring. Reveal the map to me. I don't want to go around it. Thank you, Zizel. Apparently, we still have open borders with Brazil. They gave it to us a while ago. So that's good. Uh, this great general, huh? This guy. Oh, good news. Those guys are in the way. Hmm. Hopefully I'll entice them to coming up towards these guys. But if not, my Lancer's going to move in and we'll declare war and just hold the position until the colonist arrives. And then maybe we'll declare peace. And we won't have to do any fighting. Where'd their, their, their settler ran away? He bravely ran away. Maybe that'll be enough to save us from a war. Ah, cover against ranged attacks is a good one for being on defense over here. Yeah, I don't know where he went, but I'm taking the spot. This freak will make it up here. I'm going to let them attack it. I don't want to be the one. You know what? I'll hit it. But then I'll save any other attacks. We're going to free Bucharest and make them our friend, too. We will have so many friends, and Venice will be so weak, it will be great. Korea? You want Korea to be sanctioned? They have nothing! Why isn't anyone sanctioning England? And who keeps wanting to enact the frickin'... Venice, get your head out of your ass. Buddhism is never going to be a thing. You can't make it happen. Just like fetch. You can't make fetch happen.
great artist rate, but we don't have any artists here, so that's okay. Oh, we don't want to start a war with Pedro? No, no thank you. We're just coming up here just in case we need a little extra firepower against Bucharest. But uh, they're running out of defenses there. That knight is probably going to fall. In fact, this turn, I do believe, we'll be able to take it. We're just building a lot more units down here. We're now at plus 10 units to where we were when the damn English threatened us. Are you threatening me? What? So what's going on down here? We don't know where their settler went. They're gone. That's good. That's very good. One turn until our colonist is finished, and then we can jump the gun on him. Here's an ironclad that's going to be bonus against naval units. And a bonus to visibility range, I guess. Jeez, we're a little behind on everything, aren't we? You should probably just chill out down here. Okay, do we think we can do it? That's a really close one. I'm going to wait one more turn and not attack it with anything except for that guy. Mari grabs some oil. Fantastic. Okay. Porto is continuing to be a problem vis-a-vis -vis research. Keep an eye out for that stupid settler. I think, maybe, the spawning of that barbarian may have saved us this time. Hey! We've got oil! So much oil. Where did we get the other? Oh, this has seven! Holy mackerel! That's a lot of oil. And Brasilia really wanted it, too. Uh, Aveo, you need to never fall. Like, you need to be the strongest of the strong over here. Although, the best way to do that is to have a ranged naval unit like a cruiser with you. Because there's no way that we're going to be able to hold this northern coast island here. We don't have any units for it. I guess I could put a unit up there. But what unit? I guess a fusilier. Fusilier. Let's put a military academy in between these guys so that uh, we get that benefit. All right. I don't know what to do with you now. I think we're just going to kill you off. And we have a lot of work to do up here around Babylon, but we're working on that. Okay. It does not appear to have gotten better. But hey, there's nobody around that can take it except for all the other ones. Okay, well, that's not great. I think we're going to try this turn. You're just going to need to get out of the way. Nope, if I put him in there, we can't do anything. So, I think we got it. Go in there and finish them. Liberate Bucharest! Yes! And the Venetians aren't even at war with them anymore, so they got some time to heal. Time to heal. Time to get better. <gasps> Never could nets. I have to send... Aw, oh, come on now, man. Ragusa won't answer me for some reason. They refuse to hear my call. Uh-oh. Nothing's working. Why is nothing working? That's a problem. Lyria. Agribusiness. Now can I talk to Bucharest? No. Well, let's bring all the naval units back here. Oh, there we go. Bucharest. Pledge to protect and give them a diplomatic unit of some kind. Oh, look at... Oh, it's all responding. Uh, but what... What unit shall I give them? Maybe... Maybe one of these cavalry units I really don't need? Nah, one of the machine gunners I just built. 
I don't need this guy. He can't even fire over the places anyway. That will get, uh... Oh, that wasn't... Ah, oh, I was supposed to give it to Ragusa. Damn it. All right. Well, we'll give them the originally planned Villanova de Gaia. Just, you know, constantly churning out field guns to give away to our allies. Probably somebody would have a problem with that. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Before anybody else, we must do it. This corvette can be upgraded. Now we've got a slightly better navy here in the center, and we've got our uh, cruiser there as well. I gotta upgrade all these freaking uh, units here. Only two turns left on our golden age, but then hopefully. Oh, oh, I meant to find out if we could buy somebody's vote here. Let's find out about this aluminum, aluminium, as it were. Oh, because we were thinking about getting the Empire State Building, right? That's what we were getting. That's really good for us right now. We got a lot of great people. Uh, they're really good. Uh, you'd like you'd, you'd you'd know them if you met them. They're great. Um, so diplomacy, we need to go. Who are we diplomizing with? Assyria, Ashurbanipal. Can we trade for votes? We're not allowed to do any trading at all. Jesus, sanctions are awful. I mean, I haven't really been sanctioned before, but I didn't know it was this bad. But maybe that's why the AI will let you come unsanctioned. You're like, I promise! I promise I'll be good! Uh-oh. Bucharest, no! Don't fall again! We just fixed you! Why do I have a worker in here? That's weird. Uh, why don't you go inside here and just be, you know, defending and stuff. Oh, yeah, no, don't worry about it. Take your tribute if you want, if you must. They did it again! Those bastards! Leave them alone! Stop declaring war on them! They never did anything to you! Alright, send everybody back! We may not need to. Let's see if we can take it instantly. Yes, we can. Liberate the city again! <laughs> they love us! They love us in Bucharest! We just keep crushing them and then leaving them to their fate. Okay, you guys are free, so, uh, you know. Good luck. so many of these things. I guess I'll put one over near Lyra. Boom! Beat you to it, buddy. Cha-chang! I told you not to settle near me. You didn't believe me. Walls. Yeah, let's build those quick. <laughs> I have a feeling I just pissed him off. And we've got a land ship! Ha ha ha! What do you think about that? Them apples are, you know, apples uh, for some reason. Did we send... Yes, here's our general. Here comes the general. This will be fun. And I could send another one. Do I have another one in here? Huh. 
<laughs> yeah, I have two more in there. We'll send that one to get the... What you call it here. Oh! Oh, no. We forgot to check what the deal is with aluminum. Right? No aluminum here. Didn't get lucky over here. None here. None here. Oh dear. We have no aluminum? Nothing? Ah. Uh, come on. I just secured all my oil. Now you're going to do this to me? There's eight. I got to go found another Sydney, city near Sydney just to get an air force? I guess so. Here's another eight. I don't really want that many more vulnerable cities, but I guess I got to do it. Look at this little chain of islands. That's, I fucking, I love this map script. It makes really cool maps. Okay, this is the target then. Um, where should it be? I think it should be inland because it will be harder to take if it's inland. And it should be near this oil too. Wow, nine oil. Oh, that's great. One, two, I gotta put it on top of the deer. I could put it here, but then it's on the coast. But on the coast is okay, kind of. Uh, yeah, that's okay. But then it's not near these fish. Maybe put it on this coast. Then it's near the fish. But then it's not near this. I think I got to put it on the deer. Damn it all to hell. I didn't want to lose the deer. All right. Well, it is what it is. So. You say sabotage. I say sabotage. Um, colonist. 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 Got to move you up to the top. And we got to garrison it with a field gun. Unfortunately, this is just the closest thing. So, Aveo, if we get any more of them sweet, sweet uh, cargo ships, we will send you some hammers to help with that. Let's do a great ride. Oh, no, I forgot I wasn't going to spend the faith. Oh, no. Well, I got eight turns to remake it up. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to afford... Oh, this is where my gold starts being a problem. Anything money-related in here at all that we could utilize? Ooh. Free buildings. I know about the whole... Yeah, whatever. Um, stock exchange. That's going to take too long. But we said we wanted to put the Empire State Building, which requires one more policy. We'll have that soon enough. Brand of local fishing fishermen in Vancouver. Gain a thousand food or five food for seventy-five turns. Five food for fifty food turns is twenty-five hundred. So that's even more. Yeah, whatever. We'll grow Vancouver really fast. All right, we're gonna be really secure on oil and really secure on coal and. A little behind on aluminum, but maybe we can buy that which we cannot get. I mean, I remember asking you nicely, and you said, and I quote, you. So, our affairs are none of your business. We will settle where we please. You bastard. This city needs another defender. Another land ship wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Centaurus extractors would be good there too, actually. Because I could not oh, that's right. When I buy one of those guys, I get a bunch of bonus faith. So that's good. Oh, we're going to need a worker out here in new territory. It's going to be 13 turns from now, but that's okay. 
Okay, I gotta stop building military units. I know that England was intimidating me, but this is getting a little ridiculous. Alright, so I'm defending Bucharest, allowing it to build up a little bit. I can't pay to improve their resources, well, because I don't have any money. Um, but they're going to get that unit I sent them. Ragusa already has the field gun that I sent them, so that's good. Alright, so seven turns and we can try to build the stock market. Hey! Get rid of those sanctions, please! And why would you sanction Korea? That's just so mean. Hopefully, uh, they will let me get rid of these sanctions. I've got 12 now. That's good. Hello, Hansa Chekch. Ugh. Evora? Where the hell is Evora? Oh, the brand new city I just made. Right. So you're telling me I have to lose food, production, or gold in the brand new city I just made. No, it's always better to take it on the... On the happiness, because I'm going to do something about that. Uh, right now, where is the happiness? Poverty and crime all around the city. All around it. Where's the next crime improvement situation? That's not the wire service. It's not the Hall of Honor. I think I just haven't built enough arsenals and stuff that'll help in this particular version of the mod. So let's find out who is the weakest link. Lisbon? Lisbon's the weakest. What? You're crazy, Lisbon. What's your problem? Arsenal will probably help. Yes, crime is actually the highest problem. So yes, arsenal will definitely help. Gulp. So, Bucharest, I don't want to be Ooh, at war away. anymore. Partly. My max value is 1,800, but he doesn't have anything to give me. Like, I could take his dies, and that's not even... I guess I could just take his dies. Alright, yeah, give me your dies. Take that thusly. Now... I have to hope. They still consider me a warmonger? I've been liberating all these city-states, giving them back their right to whatever it is that they have their right to? How many times am I going to need to rescue Ragusa before they consider me the good guy? I got a bunch of tourism. Awesome. I have so many, so many city-state friends. They love me. All right, so hopefully we've gotten rid of those sanctions. We really need that to ramp up our corporation. Is plastics in the next era? Are we still in the modern era? Yeah, we're still in the modern era. So where do we want to go from here? Medical lab, food is carried over, so that's growth. What is that? Oh, all units, allowed units receive fallout resistance promotion. I guess after plastics, do we want to get to atomic theory first? Refrigeration allows us to create offshore platforms. That helps us with our oil. Extends the rate of sea trade routes, too, huh? Increase, uh, rocketry significantly increases our academy situation, and then so does nuclear fission. Scientists all get plus one science. Yeah, we want these two pretty quick. And that kind of requires flight, which requires all of this stuff. We're going to get an ideologies here soon enough. So after plastics, 
Let's go for Atomic Theory and see what that does for us, because our embassies... Embassies? Oh, yeah. Scientists get plus one science is a pretty big boost, and then Academies get plus three science is a pretty, another pretty big boost. And that'll give us, you know, flight and ballistics and get us some decent upgrades militarily. Penicillin now. It's like the most... Well, I guess you're right. Medical Lab does make growth better. It's not a science building. It's a growth building, because penicillin helps large population survive. I can understand that. Two production science and food on every tile next to a river. A hydro plant is awesome. So let's find out. How many tiles do we have next to rivers? It's a decent amount right here next to Lisbon and Porto. There's a decent amount next to Coimbra. Yeah, we got quite a few rivers. We could try beelining for that afterwards. Satellites has got to be a science thing, right? Oh, it gives us the Apollo program. Yeah, we want that. That's a signal to start of the space race, allowing your cities to build spaceship parts. When the spaceship is completed, you win a science victory. If you're the first to complete it, you receive a free great scientist near your capital, and a golden age begins. So, computers also good for science, I have to assume. Bletchley Park has to be. Ah, that's the one you get from the rationalism branch. Receive a free research lab in the city. Provides two additional spies. Levels up all your existing spies and reduces enemy spy effectiveness in all cities. Your spies will be immune to failure. Advanced action. We have much more likely to steal science and disrupt world wonder production via advanced actions. I mean, that's okay. It doesn't seem nearly as good as I'd have hoped. Whoa. Science and gold when you steal a great work or technology or complete a city-state coup. Science and gold when you complete an advanced action. That seems better. Oh, it's a national building. We're going to get that regardless. It's not a military base. Nuclear plant. <laughs> yeah, we're getting into unfamiliar territory here as far as I'm concerned. So let's just get these two and then we'll... We'll... You know, we'll, we'll Play it by ear. Let's see what happens when we get to atomic theory. That'll be a nice cliffhanger, right? Ooh, we picked up some more coal. You know, we might have... Oh, finally! We got rid of those damn sanctions. Everybody voted yay this time! Buddhism was not passed. You know who... I just moved somebody by accident. You know who is going to get the sanctions this time? How about sanction England? Because they're mean. And I said so. I haven't started any wars in a really long time. Alright, we need our trade routes back again. A cod to Ravenna is the best. Which means a cod is going to need to finish the Centaurus Extractor's office before that trade route is done. But that's okay, it definitely can. That may have been a mistake, what I just did there. Let's tempt him to go the other way. Uh, oh, I don't... Yes, I sent him back. That's fine. We have this one amber next to Lisbon that's been sustaining our population with happiness the entire time. Oh, we finally get to trade again, Asher Bonnet Paul. Do you remember? Do you remember what trade was like? How about you sanction England for us? What, what would you need? Would you need a little bit more happiness? How about we give you some happy, happy nutmeg sauce? Yeah, baby! Make an even trade. Ah, oh, they're willing to sanction England for me. There's one vote. Now we gotta... Let's get some embassies going on here. Now we gotta try to move our spy around and get others. Oh, you were gonna... What? You don't even want an embassy? He was gonna try to take my oil. I didn't want him to take my oil. Alright. Yeah, let's be friends. They clearly see my potential threat from warmongering. It's still there. I don't know what ideology I might go for. I assume it'll probably be either order or freedom. In part, I was kind of thinking I might figure out 
which one would be the least painful for me. Because right now, whichever England goes... Oh, I'm the other one. I, I need a lot more tourism, apparently. Let's make sure we are fully funding all of our artists. Which means a museum has to be coming. I think we're done with this, like, massive buildup of military forces. Um, and we probably don't need the wealth thing. I guess we still do, don't we? Jeebus. Ah, <sighs> that's awful. We're losing a lot of science from this. What does Porto have? For? Crime. Crime is a problem. How about you build that up, and then we go back to building wealth if we need it. Uh, constabulary would be great, too. Okay, both of those good. This also reduces crime. Let's, let's, let's get that going, huh? One gold for every five citizens in the city. That's good, too. And if we turn that off... That'll help a little bit. Because Porto also needs some great people. Like, hey, what about those spots? There? I wish I could just lock two of these and say, now distribute everything else the way you want. Okay, now we need to also pick another spot. So if a cod to something is already taken, Lisbon to Venice, via that, no, Lisbon to Nineveh is the next. So let's take it. There we go. Is that really a 70-turn long trade route? I thought it got shorter over time. Why is it 70 turns? It's going to take forever to spread my damn car uh, uh, corporation that way. Or maybe that's distance. I don't know. I guess Nimrud it is. Keep exploring the rest of the world. Hmm. Oh, man. If this stupid... We just got done fixing those. We just got done with that. C'est la vie. A university here couldn't go out of line, but then we gotta figure out where to get some production. Because it seems like we're a little slow. Oh, castle. Castle to defend ourselves. Caravan Seri for the money. Uh, and, yeah, we're going to need a bank for the money, too. An arena helps with boredom. Are they bored? They're a little bored. So let's do that, and then the bank. And the chancery will help with production once we get to it. I need the money to pay these guys, but I can't do that. They also need a damn fish. Workboat. Somewhere higher up on this list. There we go. All right, an event choice. Endure the floods. Of course, endure the floods. Why wouldn't there be more floods? Oh, come on. I guess Villanova de Goya is going to have some problem with the food production for a while, because I can't deal with this. All right, we're going on a voyage of discovery, because we absolutely just need more happiness. Who can we trade with for more happiness? I don't know that I want to trade with England. We can trade with Ashurbane Paul for salt. Some newly acquired furs. How do you like those? Just got back from the, you know, thingy bob. Now it's only Elizabeth that has anything I don't have. And it's got to be sugar. All my cities want sugar, don't they? Chocolate, marble, olives, and sugar, 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 sugar. All right, fine. things, but I, I do need it just temporarily. Once this deal is done, though, it's game over. Coal for money? Yeah, yeah, I have so much coal, but you gotta give me more money than that. There you go. More coal than I can shake a stick at. I can definitely sell it to you, Mr. Ashabane Paul, my good bosom friend. Great diplomat has been born in the city of Funkal. That's good. All right. 
I gotta stop building military units. Jesus. I, I queued up so many of them. Poverty being a problem. Let's build a stock exchange. But an observatory has to sneak in there first. But. Could I... I mean, they've everybody's got a embassy now, right? There's nobody that doesn't. Kuala Lumpur, I could get a vote there. Alternatively, could I flip anybody that I want? Melbourne! I could flip Melbourne. Maybe. Maybe I could flip Melbourne. It'd piss off the Brazilians, but they already don't like me, so I'm not really... I'm just like, whatever. We got so many, so many loving of the kings. It's like I do... Melbourne's the one that I want. Oh, it's hostile. Oh, God, I hate hostile city-states. Well, then maybe Kiev is the one that I want. All right, never mind. Where's my great, great diplomat here? Maybe I want you to go to Kiev. And maybe I want you to go to Kiev because Kiev does have a pledge for protect... Uh, oh, embassy already established. Damn it. Sydney? Kuala Lumpur is the only one. They're the only one I can get another vote with. So let's try it, I guess. Since apparently that vote is very important, let's see what's happening now. Oh! Sanction me, you say? God damn it. Scholars in residence, meanwhile, is also bad for me. Okay. Anyway, we got one vote out of Assyria. Can we get a second vote out of Assyria? Halaka, <laughs> dami. No. I don't know how many. Maybe it's a certain percentage of his delegates. I don't know how many. Uh, is it in here? Like, my deal history. Yeah, it doesn't say how many of his delegates. Maybe half. Maybe those deals automatically do half. Um, I've got time to pick one more ally who might help swing things in my favor. But Ashurbanipal Paul is really the only one that likes me at all. Let's find out who hates England. Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> the only person they hate more than England is probably me. Even Venice for some reason. Like, why do you why do you hate me, Venice? Why can't we be friends? It's impossible for us just to share embassies. All I did was, you know, kick your ass when you declared war on me. Um, mean I'm dead -ish. How about you? You can take some whales for free on the house. Right? Come on, Sorry. Babylon. We're trade partners. You like that, right? They happily adopted my religion in most of my cities. Come on. We can be good friends. Let's try and see if we can convince him to, uh, you know. Oops. Keep clicking the wrong one. Here we go. So from Assyr, we need to go to uh, Babylon's new capital of Dur Diplomats automatically provide a boost to tourism output, too. Ooh, Westminster Palace, huh? Hmm. I've already got amber. I have plenty of iron. Maybe I just don't piss him off. Maybe that. I mean, instead I could piss off Pedro. I don't know if that's a good idea. Hmm. 
Nah, I mean, these cities are what they are. The city that's over here, it's there just to get the aluminum. All right. Where's the best place to get more money? Because we are so far behind on that. Apparently it's Braga to Nimrud. I thought we already sent something to Nimrud. Are we back already? Spread to Nineveh. Excellent. All right. Goa here in the middle of nowhere needs what? A windmill to help build other things like the Opera House and, more importantly, the Stock Exchange. Oh, gosh, a circus would also be good, right? They're probably bored. Hmm. Where do we need more fusiliers? How about over here? Mari needs some help. Especially against this nonsense. Where's my corv uh, cruiser over here, right? Yeah. Alright, this Lisbon trader. Lisbon to Venice. Let's do it via boat, I guess. We're already going to Nimrud. We must already go into Venice, huh? So where does it want me to go? By boat to Nimrud. We're working on that already. Aveiro to Bucharest. Okay. I can do that. Bingo. We've already got a franchise there already. Oh, we need another one. Uh, next on that list is Lisbon to Nimrud. We're, nope, we're going to have that in a second. Lisbon to Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur is way away. Away from here. Man, we can't even do it. Let's just do Ragusa. I forgot we don't have one for Ragusa right now. More stone. Okay. Oh, and we've got an academy here we've got to fix. Well, that's coming soon. Stock exchange and hotels are good. Museum, hospital, but more importantly, let's get the stock exchange up front in a couple of these cities. That'll help us with the money situation. All right. Most of our military units are back in position. He wants to pay me for my silver, huh? How about 12? Nope, too much. 11. Yeah, let's get as much money as we can. We're making money each turn. That's like the only thing that's saving us, is we're making 101 each turn. But all those things that we just sent around the world should start their treks this turn. That will help a little bit. There we go. If we get a little more happiness, things would be great. Oh, here we go. This should help. Reduces religious unrest. That's great. But plus one... Oh, this is gold. Yes, from specialists. 2% science in every great work in a city. Up to 20%. So... Boom! We got 200 some odd gold. We needed that one for a while. Oh, and now we can get that special stock exchange, right? The Empire State Building. Free great person of your choice. Specialists in cities produce another gold. Hey! 
hammer away. We're still up by six on England with regards to technology. And more than six to everybody else. So what's Luanda doing over here? How about a zoo? Anything to improve our happiness situation. Boredom. Opera House can help with that, and we'll come back to it later. This caravan needs to observe what's best for everybody. Caravan from Lisbon to Venice is actually the best. Can we do it? Yeah, we can. And here is our academy man. How about we send another one down over here, maybe? Bingo. Nice empty spot for him. Ah, I sent two. Let's send one over here. I have so many great generals, I don't know what to do with them. I don't want to piss people off. Stock exchange, museum, hotel, hospital. Don't want coal refinery. It increases poverty a lot, and we don't need the coal. But that's an interesting thing. Oh, crap. There we go. Okay. We successfully acquired the uh, aluminum here. And what do we need? Walls. Walls first, and then we'll build more. Do we have a worker coming over here? This guy. This guy's coming here. We'll quickly build a worker here. All right, so I think we're set on resources. I can only hope that the fact that we had zero, and I count them a zero, aluminum in our main area, hmm. You'll pay for this in time. I can't risk it. Can't risk it. I got a brand new city right near him. Evora. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's go through and buy all the science. Shall we? We shall. Oh, okay, I got a second one. Oops. Oh, well, let's get the oil. Uh, and plus we got this guy here. Ah, somebody cleared that out finally. Okay. I built another ironclad? I did? Let's make it good against cities. That way I have more than one. Okay. Now we got to go to each individual city. And, geez, we're still so far deep in the negative gold. That's because one, two... There's only two internal s trade routes here. Big Ben, not Big Ben, uh, Empire State Building is going to have to help us here. Ah, finally our happiness that we had from those three events in a row is going away. So, let's go to each individual city and buy those research labs. 3,000 apiece, we can get six of them. That's good. We'll just go through the cities in order. And watch as our science kind of skyrockets here. And by skyrockets, I mean it goes up a little bit at a time. Ah, 60 at a time, actually. That's pretty good. All right, now we're out of stuff, but Goa could definitely use a research lab as well. That was a pretty significant increase. What was it, about uh, 200? More than 10%. It's not Melbourne. It's Melbourne. Obviously. Have you never spoken to an Australian? 
Um, yeah, okay. I got plenty of gold, so sure. Ah, this could definitely... Hey, we're back to... We've perfectly balanced our gold income. Look at this. Plus 0.54. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Research Labs gave us so much stuff. Culture all around. They should spell it that way. But I mean... We've also got uh, Worcester Mass that's spelt like Worcester. But it's definitely Worcester. Don't let anybody tell you it's not Worcester. The world has entered the modern era. Got another great engineer. Hmm. Do I hold on to him in case there's a great wonder that we want in the near future? Maybe. Maybe. What's the freedom wonder? Statue of Liberty? Yes, plus one production from specialists in every city. Free social policy. I mean, for not going tradition, I sure have... I didn't go tradition or artistry, but I have a lot of things that benefit great people. Um, damn, I don't remember how this went. I think we want to throw it to Assyria. If anybody else votes for Assyria, then maybe they'll get it. I just don't want it to be England. I don't think anybody will vote for me. Assyria might, but that wouldn't be enough to win. Ah, our happiness is finally under control. And you'd think that would fix our gold situation, but it's dipped for some reason. A circus was never built in Babylon? Huh. Okay. Ah, I built this diplomat here. I don't remember doing it, but I got it. Um, hmm. Guess we're going to Kuala Lumpur. Montgomery. We're burning through the time now. Atomic theory is where we'll end this particular session. The later ages sure do take forever, don't they? We can probably move our guy out of Belgrade now. Where's Belgrade, anyway? Bucharest. Melbourne. Valletta. Uh, Belgrade? Belgrade. How much do they love us? Oh, they love us so much. But they're being attacked by the English. But apparently, they're putting up a good fight. What's their special unit? Anyway, I think we got it already. Chukonu. No, we missed it. All right. Uh, let's have our spy go somewhere more useful. Like Melbourne. England remains the host. Venice was trying to be the host, too. Assyria threw their votes in with me. Aw, Assyria, you're such a good guy. So yeah, I think we want to send it to Melbourne, because I could definitely use the extra money and happiness 
Oops, hang on. Faro, we need a castle. Because castles give us an extra bit of stuff. Thanks to our things. So let's stop helping out Belgrade and we'll go to... Melbourne. And we're schmoozing with them. Uh, with the we, we didn't find out yet if they will be willing to sanction England. So this says, uh, the number of delegates above is based on the number of delegates this player controls and the rank of your diplomat. Higher ranks allow you to trade more delegates. Okay, that's interesting. Wow, they will not do that for me. <laughs> like, not for damn near anything. <laughs> okay. Well, what about not sanctioning me? Same price. Okay. Thanks anyway. I'll send spies at you just, you know. To Let's send spies at England. I mean, we're not going to probably do anything much to them, but uh, we could just slow their progress in various places. Maybe I can send something to, I don't know, steal some of their great works. Porto is still the place I need to keep my guy. What are you going to do here? Oh, I can turn off the resource icons. That is annoying to have when I'm not actually looking for something. I don't know what to do with this guy. Put him over here, I guess. Ah, a new caravan arises. Where shall it go? I really kind of like the the whole, you know, the trade system that was added in, um, not Gods and Kings, the World Congress one, Brave New World. But I wish it was a little less tedious. Like, but I am playing with. I got a couple of things that increase my trade route. Like, I got my corporation. I got the Colossus. So. I definitely see that I've made it more tedious on myself, but it should, like, hey, this is the most best thing you could do right now. Uh, do you want me to move to that city and do it? Take a look at the route and decide if it's good or bad war-wise, etc., etc. Um, and then I can go deeper into where it is just like it is right now, but by default it just be here. This is okay. If you just want to hit go, this will be fine. And then, of course, we've got, in Connecticut here, Norwich, which is spelt exactly like it sounds, N-O-R, witch, like the evil cackling thing, not like, hey, which one of these are we going to choose? But, uh, Pedro, 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 I might be willing to give you electricity, but not for that attitude. You got nothing to give me, bro. You got nothing to give me. Maybe if you were willing to do some spying shit. Um, so anyway, we've got Norwich. That's the way everybody says it. That's the way it's spelled. And then on the other side of the state, we got Greenwich, which is spelt Greenwich. But it's not Greenwich, it's Greenwich. Got nothing. I got nothing. Uh, this is a brand new Defender of Alvaro. Wounded units, wounded units, yes. Hello, Kuala Lumpur. Give me your vote. I think it's the last thing in the, in the area that doesn't have a vote. Um, okay, we need a new trade overview. You got any weird slang where you live? Anybody in the chat? I think I just did the Kartuk or something or other. So how about Luanda to Harlob? Okay. That's way over in the New World. Got me that iron. I think I've run out of things for this one to do. Just in time for the event to be like, Hey, bro, I heard your workers aren't busy. but to flood some farms for you. Because that's how, that's how they talk. You know, those, those event systems. Those, they're crafty ones. I really could use a few archaeologists now that I think about it. Which city is 
done with their buildings that could do that for me. The one with the fewest unhappiness, probably. Let's take a quick look at that. Aveiro. Really? Yeah, I guess they're most of the way through their queue, but they need a research lab. So I'm afraid that is not something that we can do in Aveiro. Coimbra might be a good place. They're just finishing a factory, so that could be a good time to pump out archaeologists. I think we need at least four. You leave Bang Belgrade alone. They will resist you. They have for so long, and they will continue to do so. Look, they're not even weak. They've got all these guys. You're just going to keep losing. <gasps> Ooh, free stock exchange and great people and all the money in the world. All the money in the world. And it's all the money in the world. So, I don't know... We're still going to need to go two before we get to an ideology. I've got... I'm just going to just gonna hang out with that guy. Um, farm it is. sha na na, -na. Uh, okay. We love the King Day. Well, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that you love the King, but Akkad is a bit behind the curve here, specifically from crime. Armory will help. Arsenal will help. Constabulary will help. Let's do those in order of fastest to slowest. And we'll speed that up a little bit. But then we're gonna need a seaport to get them moving on everything else. We get science for purchasing buildings. That's always good. Now, what kind of great person do we get? Do we get a scientist? Seems like a merchant would be good. Gold and production if built on a road that connects two owned cities. And two gold in production if a railroad. Receive additional gold in production. If a trade route, either internal or international, passes over this. I could put... Yeah, I could put it right here. Couldn't I? That's just an empty spot. That could definitely work. Let's do it. Yeah, look. Eight gold. And a bunch of production. And a ton of food. My gold was tanking due to sanctions, but now I'm not sure. I guess it's all the buildings I have built. I need more stock exchanges to pop, prop it up before I build other buildings, I guess. And also, I have these trade routes that are a couple of them are internal, so I'm not getting the resources from that. Um, Nimrud's done. Kuala Lumpur from Lisbon. I think Kuala Lumpur already has something going to it. Unless that was this one. Samarkand and Ormus both are missing from this. That's weird. What does Melbourne want? Upcoming sessions are happening soon. They don't want anything. Apparently they don't have no quests for me. But let's get Samarkand a thing. Ah, this poor city. Oh, uh, wounded units. So, uh, oh, splash damage. Yeah, that's kind of nice to have on a, on a guy like that. What's the best trade route to Ormus? I want. Oh, Ormus! Ha! Oh, Ormus, you cheating bastard! Well, I'm conducting intelligence operations against Elizabeth, but that is not going to be enough. Oh, it will exactly be close to being enough. Um, okay. 
But meanwhile, I'll report back to my colleagues who are chewing on the door. Guess we'll table this for now. Free research lab, excellent. <sighs> Workshop windmill, stock exchange. I mean, I guess I could build a quarry here for no reason. Luanda's out of things to do. Uh, maybe they could build one archaeologist, at least, for this area of the world. And then a uh, research lab and a stock exchange and a military uh, academy? Nah, how about a museum? A wire service. Better for diplomatic units. And two culture and science for every ally. We do have quite a few allies, so I guess we need a couple of those wire services everywhere, huh? Ah, oh, we definitely want that there. Research lab everywhere we can get it. And that, and that, and that. And hate to say it, I kind of want the minefield too, but... Eh, let's hold off. I don't think Villanova de Gaia is in any real trouble at the moment. It's pretty centered in my empire. I've built quite a lot of things, so the... And I... You know what? I also massively increased the size of my army. And I imposed the peace sanction... Like, not sanctions, but the peace... Uh, World Peace Accords, which increases all of the military unit uh, stuff. So, yeah. That could have something to do with it. How's England doing for money these days? Plus 249. They were way up there before, and then I got the Global Peace Accords in, and they're much weaker now in the money front. So that's good. You want my open borders. No, 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 no. Not until all my archaeologists are done doing what they need to do. All right? Okay. So an archaeologist can convert that one right there. Diplomat is going to go get Ormus back, because I can't believe we lost them. They've been our bosom pal for basically forever. Um, and you can go to Ormus. But you're going to wait one turn, because I don't know if they're the money they get is determined right at the very beginning, and it doesn't change. I doubt it, but I, it's possible. This archaeologist could try to grab this before anybody else does. You know, having an archaeologist over here has actually been pretty useful. Let's build another one. Pharaoh, our brand new city. It has a castle now. Let's build... I mean, I'm kind of reticent to build an arsenal next, cause, just because it costs so much. Let's build a university, and we'll come back and build that seaport. Lighted fields. I mean... My agents go where they please. So, sorry. They're going to get me... Oh, that's a reward of 1,600 science. That's almost a whole turn's of, worth of science. That's pretty good. Uh, only 11 per turn's okay for that. And we all know I'm short on gold. I'm just going to try to save up a war chest for in case I get sanctioned again. All right, now... Boom! Ormus is back under our solid control. Well, semi-solid control. So, it kind of sucks that we're going to lose this, but we're going to turn it into a landmark or something. Uh, okay, cargo ship to Ormus is now getting me a lot more stuff because they're my ally. Huh. I guess we're going to put the Fatoria here. And... Can I go there? I can totally go there. And they'll be like, hey, bro, that's my stuff. And I'll be like, yo, bro, why are you calling me bro? I think I want another. <laughs> I'm getting addicted to archaeologists, but it's like there's one, two more spots that I will like. I need that. Sorry, I need it. Oh, there's another one over here. Look, look. 
You mean sanctioning you? You you took insult to that? I'm terribly sorry. I meant no offense to the suggestion that we should stop trading with you because you're evil. That one uh, got away from me a little bit there. Sorry. I don't know if there will be any great generals left after this. I'm going to gift away one of my units that I don't care about. Uh, how about one of these tertios? I mean, it's a little old, but it's better than the one unit they have. It can act as a meat shield, at least. You need to come and fix these farms that exploded for no apparent reason again. We're close to flight. Then we gotta build a bunch more guys. Uh, yeah, no. Ormus is mine. Whew, yeah, you back off. You know you better back off. No Embassy from Venice? What happened to them? How much oil do I have? 14? I mean, maybe I'll give you two. I mean, then you can't have it. No. If you don't, you're not willing to pay more. Oil's very valuable. And uh, I don't have a lot of it yet. It's in the water. I gotta figure out how to extract it. Holy sites get plus four. Mm, that's good, I think. Kuala Lumpur, stay with me! Elizabeth embarked a force to sneak attack another sieve. Secretly plotting against Ashurbanipal. Yeah, I know we can't steal things from England, but maybe I can... Uh, s do th thieve some of their great works. There we go. See if we can't find them in one of these other cities. Uh, so this Portuguese archaeologist, where... Will we bring you? We've got one there. One in Samarkand. No, it's in a neutral area that Hastings hasn't claimed yet. Now, Nottingham. We can't view it until we're established, until we travel there. Then I can find out if they have any great works that we can steal. Lisbon, 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 Lisbon. Build a wire service and a hospital. And then you'll be totally caught up, basically, and we'll figure out if we want to uh, get a broadcast tower coming in. Next up. Wow, we're at plus 30 happiness now. Yeah, okay, we can open borders, because I just don't think you're going for the tourism game there, Venice. Um, I can't dig this up, huh? I thought you could if you have open borders, but maybe you also have, the have to have a declaration of friendship? Hola. No. What allows you to dig up archaeological sites in other people's areas? Huh. Anybody know? I've definitely seen him do it to me, so I know it's possible. Ooh, a great googly moogly scientist. Um, put it right here. Okay, so we don't know. One civilization has committed one delegate because of trade deals that we know of. We convinced one of them to sanction England, I guess. Um, we don't know who's deciding to sanction or not sanction us. England, if they trade, if they go everything against me, could cut me off. I 
think I'm going to try that split and hope. We'll see what everybody else does. I think they're going to go full defense, or mostly defense. Ah, Pharaoh. Customs House will help our monetary situation. And plus, you got poverty. Boredom will also give us an R. R that, yeah, 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 public school. And a seaport. That's the final, final test. Mari. Buy a research lab. Boom! Just like that. An armory, an arena, an aqueduct, an amphitheater. Everything that takes one turn has got to go. Stable goes first, though, because it'll help us speed wise. Diogo has done something. What did he do? He stopped an enemy spy. He must have. He's the one I have defending my Porto, I believe. The most dazzling cities. Lisbon's not that dazzling, apparently. Don't show blocked, please. Lisbon to Zanzibar, you say. Zanzibar, that used to be a city-state, you bastard. You took all the city-states. Huh. Doesn't even have Zanzibar listed. How is our situation vis-a-vis -vis our corporation? Only three franchises, so I guess we want to make sure this goes to someplace new. I guess Newcastle makes sense. We killed an English spy. Yeah. Oh, it's you. I'm listening. Stop spying on us. Oh, you bastard. That's worth a shot. Babylon, why are you starving yourself? That's weird. Scholars in residence. Oh no. So, everybody that's behind me is going to get a 20% research reduction on the stuff that I've already researched. Gulp. And, uh, what else did we get? Sanction Portugal fails. Brazil tried to do it to me. Oh, Brazil. A knife in my back, Brazil. Even Venice didn't want me to get sanctioned. Oh, man, they got Ragusa again! Stop it! Come on! England was not passed. Wow, yeah, they used everything against it. Whew. I kind of want to repeal that stupid science thing, but I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Instead, I will just keep trying to sanction England to siphon away all their votes. Because I know if they... Their empire is so massive. If they get sanctioned, they are going to just go through the floor. They're going to have to disassemble most of their army. They're going to have to massively reduce their buildings or something. They're just going to have no science for a while. Like, they have to... Because the Global Peace Accords are also in effect here. So everybody's paying more for the military they have. Hey, LightsX. Wow. Wow. That's really nice to say. I'm, I'm very glad it, uh, the videos help you and you enjoy them so much. It's such a niche. It's like you and like six other people. There are dozens of us. Well, yeah, a few dozens. Um, but these are just, they're just so, like, I enjoy doing them and I like to have uh, people to talk with about these things. Because they're always, they're interesting. Ah, okay, so what to do about the next... Ooh, we've got two here in Mari. I didn't even notice that. I feel like we need a few more of these archaeologists still. I mean, we're the first ones that got to archaeology, as far as I can tell. I didn't see any other archaeologists running around yet, but... Uh, 
Okay, a cod. Underbrush has been set ablaze. There's nothing we can do. Two lumber mills might get destroyed. Nearby forest yields plus one production. Forever? Like, how long does that last? Ah, sure. What the hell? Ah, we finally have nothing to do with these workers. I'm just going to hit automatic and let them do their thing. Hopefully they'll repair stuff and they won't undo any of the work I've done. Another archaeologist. We've got this one right over here, but I want to make sure we get both of these in Mari before somebody else steals them from us. We're building a Fatoria there. We could build a Fatoria here. I guess. What's your favorite Civ, Lights X? Do you have one you like playing with? Rome is still my go-to. I just like having every building in every city, so I like that bonus that they get to buildings get 15% increase in uh, production speed for a building if it's already exists in the Rome capital. Uh, Funkal really doesn't need it, and we only have so many of them. Let's get other places first. Ah, we've got our first new thing. Now, a landmark provides culture based on the era... R classicals pretty far back. And does it produce, like, tourism too? Only with the New Deal, apparently. Produces five culture, but a hotel will convert that directly into... Oh, this never even got a seaport. Wow, okay. Well, that's a little bit concerning. Um, oops. Did it get a hotel? It did. We built one here a while ago because we have the Colossus in here, amongst others. Ah, now this one we're taking an artifact because we don't really want to make a landmark for the Babylonians. Uh, so we take a Babylonian artifact and we add it to our collection. Samarkandian artifact, yes, yes. We're doing pretty good on tourism now. I think that England and I are going to host opposite ideologies. And that is going to be uh, how this game ends, as two, as two major superpowers. Like, they still have a lot bigger score than me, but I feel like I've got an edge. I'm scrappy, you know? Just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Radio's almost here. England, man, I love having those spies early on, and it's really annoying to play against. Like, we're playing a multiplayer game on Sunday nights uh, with uh, the armchair generals, and it is stupid annoying to just constantly have them, hey, we're taking three of your science this turn. I'm only making eight science. Stop stealing like two thirds of my science. Well, a third, a third of my science. Uh, anyway, uh, if you complain enough, he moves the spy somewhere else and then somebody else complains for a while. We all experience the same heroes and comedians. Radio, unique actions greatly increases empire-wide tourism output. Wow. Yeah. It just the research boosted tourism by a, just a ton. It's just a 15% flat bonus apparently. Let's optimize. This requires we needed more great works of writing. I don't know if we got them. We're theming that already. That one needs it. Yeah, we just need a lot more writing. How do we promote our writers? Museums, I think. No, our museums are for artists. 
Oh, well. Um, let's check it out, just to make sure. Artists, check. Musicians, check. Writers and artists, check. Artists, check. Artists and... I'm sorry, the other one was writers. Writers and artists, check. So, yeah, everybody's at full blast on great people. Hmm. Which two do we want to... Uh, I guess we put it here. We could then put a Fatoria over there. This one can be more of these. These ones, unfortunately, are probably not going to be super ancient. They are uh, the very, very earliest going to be classical, but they're probably going to be medieval. What are you talking about if I have no... I just massively increased my... I bet you I still have the largest military. I'm number two after England by, like, a little bit under half of what they have. Okay? Jeez, I'm number two everywhere. England caught up to me and manufactured goods now. And they exceeded me by quite a lot. Ugh. I did take a lot of my cities off full production, but still... How many cities do they have now? 32! They've settled six new cities since we started this session. Didn't they have 25? I mean, I settled... four? No, two. I only settled two new ones. I settled these two over here. This one here. And this one here. And, like, the the Babylonians have just fully embraced this whole new continent living thing. Uh, they've got their capital over here. That's under attack. At this point, they should really just flee. Flee to the new... to the, to the other continent. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, look. Look up here. There's so much, so much aluminum. 18 aluminum! Oh, but it's such a crappy city location. I mean, do I want to put one more city down somewhere? Here's another 8 aluminum. I could put a city right here on the coast, or right here, which is on a river, and not as... But I mean, look, he's just... There's just England, 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 England. If I'm going to put another city down somewhere, it's, I want it to be somewhere where there isn't England, and I don't think that place exists. Pretty sure it doesn't, actually. But it's like, what kind of victory is England going for? I mean, obviously they could be going for a capital-type victory, right? But... Can they win that? They haven't been expanding too much recently, but later in the game, you get more happiness and you can expand more easily. Uh, one culture and tourism for every five citizens. Yeah, I think we want broadcast towers everywhere. Let's get our tourism up as a secondary option, but more importantly, because if your tourism is high, it gives you all kinds of other benefits uh, to do with trade and spies. Hey, we're friends with Melbourne. Ah, the final policy. Two science and culture from villages halves religious unrest in all cities. That's good. How much science we get out of this? I'm going to say not that much. Maybe 30? We don't have that many villages. Huh. About 50. They probably got boosted. Melbourne election rigged. That's why we're their friend. Uh, and... They want to generate a great diplomat in order to make them happy. Well, we've got a great merchant coming right up. Is that good enough, Melbourne? Probably not. Five turns until we find out if we have uranium, which may be the only thing keeping us in the game if we get it. We could try blowing up the English. I mean, the real good thing is England is spread out across the whole goddamn world. I've got, like, these two guys are close to each other. I could probably defend them with mostly navy. Uh-oh. What are they doing here? What are you doing here? Sydney is a problem, too. I need them to like me. Come on, these cities only need a little longer to build an arsenal and, uh, well, Avero is pretty well stocked on defense. It's got 100. This only got 45. 100 is going to last a long time. I mean, look at what this 64, 65, 60s, 40. Like, none of these guys have arsenals.
No, my first name is not Tom. It is Adam. Uh, let's see. We've got the archaeological find here. Let's check this out. Uh, Portugal in the ancient era? How the hell? Oh, because the barbarians spawned there the, the in the ancient era, maybe. Like the camp. I don't know. And over here, that's within three, one, two, three. Yeah, so let's build a landmark there. This is a Renaissance-era Portugal thingy, about Bob. All right, I think I got pretty much all of the things I'm going to get access to now. All of the archaeological things. <gasps> Ideology. England. Oh, you took freedom. I don't know if we can take freedom now, England. I don't know if we can be bros. I mean, technically, probably the thing to do is take freedom so that we can... Um, torment and impress them. Well, I don't think that's true. Because uh, if I take freedom, it'll be much easier for me to not have England attack me. But, but, it'll be much more interesting to take order and try to be the counterbalance, the underdog. When criminals in this world appear and break the laws that they should fear and frighten all who see and hear, the cry goes up both far and near for underdog, underdog. 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 Let's see. Pharaoh needs production. Bingo. So we got another archaeologist. I know at least where one more is. We got those two. Ah! Here's one. This Zeppelin has been all around the world. I'm going to leave it here as a paratrooper now. And the main thing I use these scouts for at the end is their medic promotions. <gasps> Why did we suddenly, because we got to 18, we get to choose an ideology immediately? Interesting. All right, Vancouver. Wire service progress tower, not coal refinery. Cristo Redentor. Uh, 25 tourism. Hotels provide two golden age points, culture and tourism. Um, let me see. Can we get the Cristo Redentor in here? We also got the Foreign Bureau, which is just more diplomacy stuff. So what if we were to do, like, that? And, like, don't we also have one of the... Dang it, come on. That one, yeah! Crystal Redentor. And then we could do this, take another few turns off of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now, Zeppelin, you're also coming back. Where do we want you... I guess you can come over here, just in case. All right. So purchasing units or buildings. Good, good, good. All these things. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we spread another one. That's great. Oh, we got it high enough population. We need to get a population of 533 to increase it to the next rank. Uh, fat chance on that. So England adopted freedom. And that means we could go freedom. What do you think, chat? Should we go freedom, or should we try and resist these oppressive English know-it-alls and go order? I was I really wanted to get freedom because that New Deal sounded really good, but um, it's on the top of the tree. I don't remember. No, it's the second tier. Landmarks and great person improvements produce plus five of the appropriate yield. May buy spaceship parts with gold, build spaceship factories in half the usual time, plus 10% science from research labs. So good! What do we get on the top of uh, order here? Spaceflight pioneers. Gain a free great engineer and great scientist. May finish spaceship parts with great engineers. And expending a great person adds plus 100 science scaling with era. That's pretty good, too. Worker facilities. Factories increase city science by 10%. Hmm. I'm not going autocracy. The entire game I've been focusing on a science victory. So that's not... That's just... That's just not cricket. I don't think they have a lot of good science things in here. They have tourism, oddly enough. You could win a culture victory with your autocratic empire. 
three local happiness from every courthouse, one happiness from police states. I mean, they focus a lot on production. I've already got a lot of science, but I think we gotta go order. I think we need to take the communist block. Boom. I may resent, I may, may be very unhappy with that. Factories increase city science by 10% and build factories in half the usual time. I mean, that one kind of sucks that we have already built factories in most of our cities. Uh, we don't need extra spies. Attack bonus and experience from military units in friendly territory. That's actually good, because the only thing that's going to stop us from winning a science victory is a military attack on us, I think. So guerrilla warfare fighters, definitely something to keep out in, uh, in, in mind for future tenants. We have a few military academy in every city. We've already got that, but it will cut the, the cost of upkeep, at least. Public schools produce culture and happiness. Mm, we don't need it. Uh, poverty reduced and city growth increased by 20%. We could actually take advantage of that. Look how much happiness we have. Our cities could just keep growing. But let's take the science for now. And then we'll get that other one next. Because 20% extra growth is pretty, pretty obscene. In fact, I'm going to switch over all my cities from production to just generalized... See, because you get a lot more science that way most of the time. And while it was great when we needed to get all the infrastructure, look how we have so few buildings. We can we can definitely afford to... Wow. Although Lisbon loses a hundred. A hundred production. So Lisbon will be the exception for now. Once we get the Cristo Redentor, then we'll go back to, you know, whatever. You only lose a little bit of production in most of these cities. You lose about 10-15%. Uh, and this city literally has... Oh, the Motherland Calls. A free social policy greatly reduces crime, receive a free police station. Foreign spies cannot incite rebellion or unrest in the city, and your spies are much more likely to disrupt building, production, cause unrest, or incite rebellion via advanced actions. I mean, that's... That's good. The defense need thing is good, because how much do we have for crime? Quite a lot. So let's build that in Porto. Which, actually, we probably should stop building wealth. <laughs> Build the motherland calls. We forgot to turn you off doing that. Uh, that's too bad. Um, agribusiness is good for business. What was it I was playing? Um, oh, it's Star Trek Ascendancy. is a board game. And the Ferengi are like these super trade empire guys in Star Trek. And when you play as them, they have a couple of different cards that represent their special powers. And one of them is war is good for business. And so it's just like them war profiteering. And then the other one is peace is good for business. It's like, it doesn't matter. We're going to take advantage of it. Yeah, autocracy is great for science because you just take their cities and use their science. Well, yes, but every additional city you add is 7% more expensive science. I don't know that I can give you four of my aluminum. That's half. Not for two gold a turn. Get out of here. Now, what was that? Barbarians? Barbarians? Oh, God. Barbarians... That means uh, they've got rebellion problems. So let's see what our situation is vis-a-vis -vis cultural situation. Uh, oh, shit! Look at that! England's at minus 36. Uh, if we could put a little bit more pressure on them, uh, tourism-wise, then right now they're just exotic. If we could increase that more, it would be great. But, oh, because we have different ideologies, that's not going to do much. Um, but, yeah, that's good news. If we can sanction them, that plummets even further. Maybe I can send a... Eh, it's not going to happen. They're going to keep using their 18 to prevent that sanction from going through. Pretty sure that's the case. I mean, that's what I, that's, that's what I would do. <laughs> they can't take the risk, right? That's just unacceptable. I've actually been playing a, uh, a game as Japan at work, which is very military-focused. And uh, that one has been interesting. 
don't know why we got a free rifleman. Must have been from the uh, city states. Air defense. Plus five to air defense when defending against airstrikes available once you research flight. Uh, I don't know much about it, so we're just not going to pick that for now. We got yet another great admiral thanks to our national ability here. Uh, so, let's start upgrading some of our guys. Oops, I did other things I didn't want to do there. There we go, we got our scout back. Alright. The free social policy is the real reason to finish the uh, Motherland Calls. The Motherland! Where did I put that? Did I put it in the capital? After Cristo Redento? I thought I put it in Porto. Oh, I did. I put it right there. And we're going to do this considerably better. Palace of Culture and Science. Plus 5% science and culture. Wow. Oh, wow. This is just a national population, so... Oh, that's kind of cool. Each of these... Each of the um, ideologies has their own national wonders. And I know where I want that. I'm pretty sure the thing that's producing the most science and culture is actually Lisbon? I thought it was Porto. But I guess not. Lisbon it is. We're going to add that there. Broadcast Tower should also be out there. Just, you know. Because the more pressure we can put out there with tourism the better our ideology is going to do. We need to get people to flip to our ideology more than anybody else's if we can. That's why I put a big emphasis on... Uh, if you're going to be a follower, it doesn't matter too much what your tourism is. But if you're not going to be a follower, you're going to be a leader for a particular ideology, you need people to flip to your side. Right now we might get Brazil, Nebuchadnezzar... Um, Where's a Syrian guy? Oh, a Syria guy doesn't like me so much anymore. I wonder why. He's hostile. Territorial disputes? Really? We don't have any territorial disputes. Oh, they didn't like my sanctioning of England? Competing for the favor of the same city-states? Yeah, okay, you got me on that one. I can't disagree. All right, next turn we find out where the uranium is, guys. And then we're going to end it, so that's going to be a nice cliffhanger. I'm going to try to do one stream a day this week since I'm home from work, so it's a lot easier to find the time. We killed another spy trying to steal stuff from Porto. Oh, we also get to find out how this works out. Uh, passport system. Increases international travel between civilizations. Increases the tourism modifier for all civilizations by 50%. I don't think anybody wants that. We don't want tourism to be the victory condition. Belgrade. That's mine. And maybe we can sanction England with the rest here. I mean, I don't know if anybody else is worried about England. It seems like everybody else kind of likes England. Which is like, clearly they're, they're confused. Why don't you get science? I wish you'd just prioritize it the way I want you to prioritize it. Let's just let's just grow for a little bit. Then you have enough people to prioritize everything. That's the way I see it. If you all just grow, then you can prioritize everything. Finished a windmill. There's no scientists. What's the deal with that? Grocer will help. Seaport. Stock exchange. And this one, get decent yields. There's really not a lot of food going to Mari. I think one of my next trade routes has to send food to Mari to help it grow for a little bit. England. Samarkand. <gasps> you traitor. I forgive you, my son. 
In the name of the whale. Oh yeah, you're right. Definitely better odds to get what I want if England has to constantly defend against the sanctions. I agree 100%. Manhattan Project, Embassy, Scientists, and Science. Atomic Era! Alright. I'm gonna start clicking. There it is. We've got some uranium. It's showing up. Four? Four deposits? Fantastico. Five uranium? Seven uranium? 11 uranium. 15 uranium. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> defensive only. It's just going to be defensively used. Don't worry. Ah, enough of us said no more, no more passport system. Everything failed in that, that particular attempt. Um, make a proposal. Cold War. Ideological differences have pushed the world into a cold war. Economic and political factions are formed based on ideology alone. When this resolution is active, players may only make trade routes with civilizations that follow the same ideology or with allied city-states. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know that we want to do that. Liberation. All master vassals are immediately annulled. I'm just looking at the new ones. Decolonization. Forced decolonization on a player. If so, their influence is lower to 50 with all non-permanent city-state allies. I think England is the other one that has a lot of city-states. One, two, three, they have four. So, I've got four. So if we manage to get that to go off, that's also very good for us. But maybe it doesn't piss people off the way that sanctioning them would. Right? Sanctioning them... The reason that people get pissed off when I try to sanction England is because maybe they have some very valuable trade routes to England, and they don't want those to end. But... Decolonization might get some better. Ooh, wait a whoa, whoa, whoa. As long as the resolution is active, all players will suffer a global minus 25% production penalty to spaceship parts. Whoa, no thank you. We're going to have to nip that in the butt every time it pops up. United Nations begins the United Nations project. City states you met expend. Oh, when you expand a great person, receive an additional delegate to the World Congress, triggers your golden age, as well as the United Nations. Um, hmm, immediate boost of influence of all city-states. Maybe I try to get the world religion. Um, civilizations of a majority of the religion and the empire following their religion need an additional delegate. The founder of the religion and or the controller of its holy city receives an additional vote space in the number of civilizations. The religion spread, spreads faster and its holy city receives 50 tourism. There can only be one world religion at a time. You know, we're going to try that. We're going to try to see if the religion of the whale... Babylon's the only one that would be with us, though, right? I couldn't get... If I spread it to Assyria, then I might try this to get both of them joining me. But I think everybody else is going to be pissed, so maybe not. Let's do that decolonization concept. Where did that go? Here it is. Decolonize England. Oh, look! Everybody would love me! <laughs> they are... Oh, England's in trouble this time. <laughs> we got you this time, England. All right. Um, let's see. A circus for the happiness, but we probably don't need it. Oh. Hey, look. I forgot. Public school. Oh, my God. There we go. Stoneworks is going to be very helpful. What about arsenal? Yeah, let's get an arsenal before we go too much further so that we don't... Uh, We don't have any problems defending. Seaport needs to be in there as well. Okay. Fatoria here. Better than no Fatoria at all. Alright. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this segment. Next time we'll be back with the Atomic Era. Catch you later.